Hello and welcome to MacGyver's Grant Public Library's Once Upon a Story Time. This video will also be used in our Your Story Matters Writing Challenge, which is a mission on our Read Squared uh, MacGyver's Grant page. I'll tell you a little bit more about that at the end. This book's called Sleeping Cinderella, and it is by Stephanie Clarkson. Stephanie Clarkson wrote the words, so she's the author, and Bridget Barriger is the illustrator. She drew the pictures. Have you ever wondered what would happen if fairy tales got mixed up? There we go. Let's see what would happen if a fairy tale gets mixed up. This is called Sleeping Cinderella and Other Princess Mix-Ups, and it's published by Orchard Books in New York. Once upon a time, four fairy tale misses, tired of dwarves and witches and princes and kisses, so bored and fed up or just ready to flop, up and left home for a fairy tale swap. Snow White cried Snow White, and she threw down her broom. She stared in disgust at the state of the room. The sink was piled high with cups and with plates. Snow White moaned, I am so tired of these sloppy housemates. Look at that big mess. I think I'd be tired of that big mess too. So Snow walked out, left her dwarf friends behind, hoping that someplace less messy she'd find. She walked and she walked for hour upon hour until in the distance she spotted a tower. There's her home she left and she's walking and walking. Oh, there's the tower. In a window up high there appeared a pale face. Hi Snow White yelled, is this really your place? Rapunzel called, yes, but I wish it was not. It's lonely up here. I miss people a lot. One room with a view, Snow White cried. Oh, what bliss. I can't think of any home nicer than this. You move in, I'll move out, said the girl with long hair. You'll be all by yourself and you won't have to share. So Rapunzel left Snow in the tower behind, hoping that someplace more lively she'd find. She walked and she walked till she noticed a teen in glass slippers and gown royal as a queen. Look at Rapunzel's hair. Look how far it goes behind her. And who is she going to meet that's wearing glass slippers? Hey, said Rapunzel, you off somewhere fun? I'm loving those shoes and that coach built for one. My godmother's sending me off to a ball, yawned the girl, but I just can't be bothered at all. slaving for weeks. My name's Cinderella. I want a night's sleep, not to dance with some fella. I see, said Rapunzel. There's no need to stress. I'll go in your place if you just change your dress. So Cinderella left Rapunzel behind, hoping that someplace more restful she'd find. She walked and she walked till thorns ripped her coat. Then all of a sudden, she spotted a moat. In the castle, a maiden with a crown on her head slept in a comfiest, springiest bed. Cinderella leaned over, but whoops, down she fell. Her lips brushed the girl who awoke with a yell. Sorry, cried Cinderella, what poor form. But I badly need sleep and your bed looks so warm. No worries, said Beauty. I've no time to lose. I'm sleeping no longer, so please take a snooze going to share her bed, isn't she? Yes, Beauty was glad to leave the girl reclined, hoping that someplace more thrilling she'd find. She walked till a house in a clearing she spied with two smoking chimneys and a door open wide. Creeping inside, Beauty felt her heart flutter. She saw several dwarves trapped beneath piles of clutter. Gracious, said Beauty, shall I help with that? I long to be busy, to work, and to chat. But sooner, not later, real problems took place. Beauty cried, someone keeps shoving food in my face. I'm not keen on apples from people in hoods, but a grandma keeps trying to give me her goods. Who's that trying to give her an apple? Back home, Beauty and found Cinderella dismayed. Your prince friend just kissed me awake, I'm afraid. I'm sorry to say, but he's rather a flirt. 
Plus the spinning wheel's sharp. Someone's gonna get hurt. Cinderella ran home, up a hill and down slope, and found Rapunzel at the end of her rope. I've lost a glass shoe and your sisters are rude. I was riding in style till your coach turned to food. Then in pain, Rapunzel limped off to her tower to soak her tired feet and to take a hot shower. Snow White was still there, but as bored as could be. She said, shoo, I'm glad that you're home. Finally. I'm missing my dwarves. I'm forlorn, forlorn and bereft. Plus, you didn't mention a witch when you left. She's put possessive and clingy. Too needy, I find. I can't wait to leave here. I hope you don't mind. So back home at last, each girl called a meeting. Snow sat her dwarves down in their miniature seating. She said, cleaning for seven is leaving me sore. We'll all get along fine if we each have a chore. Rapunzel explained to her witch that she'd like one day trip together a week for a hike. That's a pretty, pretty view to hike on, wasn't it? Cinderella went off to college instead, met a regular guy, less well off, but well read. I'm so over spinning, poor beauty decreed. From now on I'll knit stuff and then I won't bleed. And there they all are happy. There's Snow White with her dwarves. Very good. So by talking things through and her problems amending, each girl truly made her own fairy tale ending. And that is the end of that book. So what would happen if you mixed up all kinds of fairy tales? Today you can find out with our mixed up fairy tale activity kit. It's in our bin in front of the castle in front of the kids zone entrance in the main lobby of the library and in it you've got imagine your story choose three fairy tale characters from the envelope and write a story using them to create your own mixed up fairy tale in your in your envelope you have a bunch of different fairy tale pictures that you can color if you want to and you can just pick three random ones and write a story about it Ooh, i got a witch and I got oh, a unicorn, and I got oh, the three bears. So how could the witch and the unicorn, a unicorn and the three bears all belong in the same story? I'm gonna go start writing. All right, you get your writing too. We'll see you soon. Have a great day.